the Shark Tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And today I got my co-host, Adam. So happy to be back on the tank. <laughs> Quit it, bro. <laughs> With it. You ever heard someone say it like that? No, I've never heard it. It's pretty good, right? I just just, just thought of that. Bruh, I'm telling you, man, you got to cut a mixtape. Living dead girl. <laughs> O'Reilly, right? O'Reilly. O'Reilly yes. is your name. I'm O'Reilly. Yeah, that's live. Yes. Thank Tell you for having me. We appreciate you for coming. Um, let's dive. I want to dive in okay. off the dribble. Right. How well, excuse my French, I know it. How the heck? <laughs> did um, because I, I know I, how the heck did you land a uh, how'd you land an interview with No Jumper with Mark? Because that's where I saw you. You at. mean Soft White Underbelly or Soft White Underbelly? Right, that's how I first. My bad. I'm, yeah, yeah. So, Soft White Underbelly. That's where I saw you. So on Soft White Underbelly, the true story of that, I saw them interview a stripper, mm -hmm. and it was the most boring thing I ever saw, and it didn't cover even part of what that life or industry is about at all. And I was like, I have a bigger story than this like she's just it was really nothing and I was like I I want to tell my story like I want to get it out there I wonder if I do if Mark will talk to me if I do so I just sent him an email and immediately he just like answered me so I knew it was that Mark knows talent yeah. <laughs> he took one look at you and he was like she's the one she's yeah. the fucking one I felt special you did two point I think 2.7 million in six months yeah there yeah. It's pretty damn good. I mean, on one of my TikTok videos, I got 40 million views, Whoa. but I was banned because people hate me. <laughs> Did Mark flirt with you? No, but he's a very oh. handsome man. You would let him? <laughs> yes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now it's we're it's not in. that I thought Mark would be flirting with you necessarily because yeah. he's a very honorable guy and he's, he's doing his thing. I just was curious, and then, oh, it goes the other way. You're into him. Yeah, he's a very prominent, tall, older gentleman. So you really know what you like. Yes. You like that. I think so. You just went. To, <laughs> I was into it. You just went to soft white underbelly one day and said, you know what, Mark, after this, you know, we can always step to the side. You wanted to check out his soft white underbelly. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think I did, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. We're sorry for using Mark, you for content here. Mark, I, I love you to death, man. But if a chick's gonna be willing to sit here and openly say, hey, man, she's ready to let you hit it, I mean, we got to talk about it. I mean, that's that's just something that's just respectfully. You know How many saying? other women out there are thinking the same thing that we don't know about? I'll be honest with you. He might be a sex symbol. I think, I think there's quite a few. There's quite a few, man. I've seen some messages. Interesting. It's, it's quite a few, but he always plays it off like, you know, oh, well, you know, I don't want to mess around. Like, come on, Mark, you got a dick like a man. I Everybody else, we. No. Mm. Or getting married. Mm. Still cool with uh, his ex wife, though. I think he got divorced because he was hanging out with too many transients like you. Whoa. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on, man? It's got to put some stress on a relationship, right? It, it has to. Right. It has to. But I, I, I really want to know, like, so he picked you up. Oh, that sounds crazy. No, you showed up. up. I you showed, showed up. up. <laughs> he didn't I give her a ride. Did you fly in? No, I'm saying, I, did you, you flew in? He was so accommodating. He paid for my flight, my Uber, my everything. Mm. And it was very dangerous. Like, it was in. Going downtown. It was in Skid Row. It was Tent yep. City. It was so scary. And he was like, if you were here at night, I don't know what would happen. I don't think anything's going to happen to you. <laughs> I think you blend right on in. As long as you don't hit the pookie, you should be all right. Yeah, you should be good. You ain't running out in the middle of the street, tripping the fuck out or nothing. I think you should be all right. All right. Maybe I'll go visit. Yeah. Spend some time down I'll there. I'll go visit Mark. Okay. Grab a sleeping bag. <laughs> Pull up. Take a nap. I mean, people think I'm homeless anyway, so I might as well. What really stood out to me was when I saw her say that she had 500 bodies on Fresh and Fit. I 500. think it was more. What's that number at now? We got 600 now? I, I think I even went up. We're going to call her 600 Breezy. All right. She had Breezy with 600 bodies. Look at that. That's a lot. Let's do it. That's yes. fire. I'm going to be real with you, for real. Like, did you do it for, was there an, a hidden agenda to it, or did you do it just because you just felt like bucking? Monetary gain. Monetary gain. Oh, so you were banging for money. Well, yeah, but let's say I have been uh, sexually interactive or whatever since I was 11. And how old are you now? I just turned 23. Okay. Yeah. 12 years in these streets. 
Yes, but 16 is when I started monetary gaining. You started prostituting yourself at 16? I think I heard something about that where you had, uh, you were on seeking arrangements at yeah. 16 years old. Yep, I just put fake ID thing on there. I had a fake ID at the time. That's how I did it. How'd you get that? Someone from China. <laughs> what the and fuck? It, it worked. So, all right, I'm going to say this, right? I'm going to say this. Because what if, and just, just throwing this out there, what if the man that you were going to see or men that you were going to see, right, they end up doing a sting on y'all, he get busted with you, and it looked like he fucking with an underage kid, but you really did put a fake ID on there to get it. It's kind of sinister. It's kind of fucked up, right? Yeah. What if that would ever You, you never know? got anybody caught up? No. They might be watching this right now doing the math like, oh, shit. Yeah, probably. It was quite a few in my hometown. Yeah. Uh oh. Hometown of? Corpus Christi. They Corpus know who Christi. they are. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Realistically, for most of them, it probably wasn't the first time that they yeah. went under the legal age, right? Right. 17 is legal in Texas, but yeah, 16 is too much. Yeah. Jesus. So, so w w what what led you to that? Do you think that you're just an extremely sexual person or do you have some kind of childhood trauma? I think it was the complete opposite. Uh, yes, yeah, since I was developed very early i almost looked like this when i was like 12. you still like, like you this. still kind of got a young body i mean that top mm -hmm. is screaming child i mean i, I got <laughs> I a boob mean, job so right? that's kind of well i'm just saying i'm looking at the like the little like flowers and shit on it oh I it just kind of looks no the, the the top looks very young makes sense i you think i did I'm get saying? this in the children's section so you get what I'm saying? Like, am I? I don't think I'm tripping the fuck out when I say that. Like, I'm looking. I'm like, it's kind of the the top just screams child, and the tattoos and the eyeballs scream gothorama. No, Something. you did say you were the ultimate goth, yeah. cradle of filth. You did say that. Yeah, but I'm like not goth at all though. But I'm I like that's what I look like. But I, that's the thing. People think I'm so goth and I'm all this, but I'm really not. But you're not actually involved in the subculture. You don't listen to the music. You don't like care about gothic causes. I don't no, know what their causes are, but No, like my favorite absolute artist that I listen to every day is Juice World. Well, Lil Peep, I'm not really going to call him goth, but Juice World and Lil Peep are my favorite artists, but I don't really listen to scream or any of that. You don't listen to any metal. No. The fact that you're calling it screamo kind of tells me that you don't listen to it, yeah. No, <laughs> I don't. So, at what point did you decide that you wanted to start body modding? Um, I started getting tattooed at 14. Okay. Yeah, I had actually a boyfriend. I was 16. He was 28, and he. I was apprenticing to start. So tattooing. wait, let's go the fuck back. <laughs> He's a 20 year old we're tattoo artist to, with a 16 year old girlfriend. To, we're not about to roll over that shit like Jeez. that shit. I know okay, we're just bro. sitting here like it's nothing, not, right? Like I'm cool with it because I'm just trying to let the conversation like play itself right. out. But that shit ain't fucking normal. She's already made it clear that this is totally like just a regular part of her coming up, but I guess. This, but this should be a fucking problem though, man, because look how you got somebody that's sitting here saying, yes, I was willing. Right. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Yes, I was with him 28 years old, but she don't fucking reap the consequences. It's the man that's fucking with her. But does. did he did he know you were that young? Yep. Oh, okay. He would come to my house, tattoo me and my mom. And I think he's actually have like, he has actual like charges for that now with another situation. So oh, wow. I think afterwards, when I broke it off, I realized how wrong it was because he had a son that was like 10. So you were only probably six years, six years older than yeah, the son. Yeah, it was very inappropriate and toxic. And I, he was just teaching me to tattoo no offense I to him but fuck the son it wasn't even inappropriate inappropriate at that moment it was in inappropriate to know that you were 16 years old he right. knew that yo mama yo mama should have got locked up for that weird ass shit yeah, well, i'm gonna be honest with you because she she your mama knew too huh didn't she yeah she wasn't okay with it she wasn't okay with it but she was just letting it happen yeah i would say so do you do you partially blame your mom for the fact that you were you know messing with older dudes when you're young and getting into prostitution did she not give you like a foundation that would have prevented that the funny thing is a lot of people ask me that question and i would honestly say no it's i mean yes she, she could have told me things but you know i grew up with the alcoholic mother father the cliche story of all that that i didn't really have foundation or structure but at the end of the day i chose those decisions and i think she knew i was gonna do or maybe she wanted to make it feel better in her head so she said she's gonna do what she wants anyway why stop her was you taking care of your mama with the money yeah i i did help my mom was she was she fortunate or was she kind of not doing too well no um 
I love my mom so much. I don't like talking about her like it's that. It's okay. But, no, we're not trying to talk. I'm just yeah. trying to figure out your story and where mm. this all plays yeah. out to where this led you to this today. Yeah. Um, no, I was, my mom and my dad were divorced, but she took all my child support money. So I didn't really have any money. She was heavily drug addict and everything, but you know, she's in a wheelchair now when she's sober. So I think all that drugs and alcohol led to her being in the wheelchair because she can't walk anymore. So I think in a way she got her karma for me for not being there for me in the way a mother should be. Are but, you close with her at all now? Yeah, we talk every day, but I don't see her. Okay. I'm close with my dad. I live very close. Me and my dad both live in Houston together. So I'm close with my dad and my mom. I just talk to her every day. But like, I, but going back to that, um, I don't blame my mom because at the end of the day, I chose those decisions. Right, but I mean, she's the one who's responsible for the circumstances the in which you made those decisions, yeah, right? Facts. Most, well, she did when I was 14. You know, she grounded me for stuff. But then eventually, I think she, because she had three of us. So I think it's like, they're going to do what they want anyway. Mm. It's whatever. So I think that's kind of how she felt about it. And then it influenced me even more that this is okay. okay. And that's why I'm so normalized to it. Because like, you know how y'all were saying, it's so freaky to kind of talk about it normally. Which it shouldn't be okay to talk about it normally. It should be a bad thing or like trauma from it but i'm just a normal well when we didn't when we weren't saying anything about it it's because we also just assume that everybody at home knows that we feel like that's fucked up right yeah Yeah. facts but so okay there's one thing it's one thing to get some tattoos on your arms and shit it's another thing to get your fucking forehead blasted and your eyeballs blackened and stuff like that when does that start happening and what what do you think made you want to do that so all of that led up to me um you know, I've always wanted to do something like this. When I was younger, I always manifested I would do this, but I never knew if I actually could. Like, I literally saw this vision in my head when I was a kid, but I never knew how I would get there. So I was in a toxic relationship from 18 to about 21, and he controlled my whole life. So I only started looking like this about two years ago. I didn't have face tattoos or anything. I had short blonde hair, didn't look anything like this. And he controlled everything I did. He abused me. He had a wife and kids I didn't know about. Oh, wow. And um, he controlled everything. That Like, it was that manipulative to where if he told me to jump off a bridge, I would have. Like, it's that kind, you know. I he gave was him, older than you? Uh, yeah, he was 26. I was eight. Oh, he, <clears> I <throat> was 17 when he met me, but he was yeah. 26. He's playing on you being young. Yeah. I don't like that type of shit. I'm going to be honest with you because I feel like that's just motherfuckers that prey on the weak. If, if I always feel like any man, like if, if you want a bitch any type of way, you can get that out of a grown woman if you got enough game for it, or if right. you can if you can help her see terms and why you feel like that. Even if it's fucking polygamy and you want five, six, seven different fucking wives, right. if you can help them understand why you do, it it'll it'll you'll you'll be where you want to be. But I feel like people play on kids because their mindsets aren't fully developed oh, and yeah. they don't really want much. Not saying that all you wanted was a fucking cell phone and maybe a room to stay in and lay your head and some food, but that's pretty much what it sums up to for a 16, 17 year old, man. Right. It's not really much, man. And the 16, 17 year olds that's running around that's even doing that type of shit, they don't got much at home. Right. So that shit looks like a lot. Yeah. Especially these days. It's like, I feel like now, like, because when I was young, I remember being 13 and seeing, like, the the cute girls in my grade at school getting picked up by dudes with cars when Mm -hmm. I'm in, like, you know, seventh grade. And I really didn't know that that was wrong. I didn't know that, like, it seemed weird to me, but I didn't know, like, oh, that's, like, illegal. Like, oh, that's, like, you could really get in trouble for that. Like, it was kind of up in the air, you know? And now I feel like it's kind of much more solidified. So anybody who does that... They really know what they're getting into. You close with your pops? Yeah, me and my dad are very close now. Um, we weren't at first. Um, he was so against all of this. He was the one that I was going to ask me. you, what do you think about your body mods? Yeah, and he things. said I was going to be a loser, nothing, have no money, be homeless, broke, poor. And, and he told me to go to college and he would help kind of take care of me because he was he owns his own business and everything. So he's doing well. And he said, you're going to go to college, be a nurse. And that's what you're going to do. And you're going to live until you're nine to five. And then you're going to retire in your fifties and then you're going to die. That's what his plan for me was. And I dropped out day three of college. You couldn't handle it. No, I, I was, I knew, cause it's like, I knew who I wanted to be. I knew I wanted to be this and I knew college was not going to get me there. What is this? What would you consider this? Like, what do you classify it as? The ultimate form of self-expression and self-love, in my opinion. But you, but you told me that you you did this. You say you don't you like that it offends people. Yes. So that is the thing, though. I like that p- 
people can look on the street and uh, wonder why and kind of be mad at it and think about it a little bit. You well, like playing with their ideas of beauty? In a way. Because you are, you know, without all the tattoos and everything, you, you are like a pretty traditionally attractive girl, I would say. Yeah. It would seem. So I think that's kind of part of why it's so shocking that you've uh, chosen to go this way. Yeah, I, w I would say that. Um, I mean, the whole point of it to me and why I'd, all the butterflies, it's because I believe in beauty. Like, I almost want it to be metaphorical in that most people think I am ugly. There's a lot of people that think I'm ugly that don't like the way I look. But I find myself to be so beautiful <laughs> and a true form of beauty it, to me. But beauty is subjective. I think it's the most subjective. You say thing. it's what you what you feel beauty it's is. It's what I feel much. beauty is, and then yeah. there are people that have literally hated my guts and looked at me and called me disgusting, but they've had conversations with me and they changed their whole outlook because they realize just what you look like on the outside doesn't always portray the inside. But that's the same reason why the game got a butterfly tattooed on his face, which he later had covered up with a big old L.A. was because he wanted to transform into the next stage of his career at a certain point. Mm. So great minds think alike. That's why you like the butterfly, though? It's a metaphor for change? No. Um, I like the butterfly because most people don't know this about the butterfly, but it's actually an ugly creature. It just looks beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, they eat spit, blood, and vomit. They'll eat each other after they mate, et cetera, et cetera. Just a bunch of gross things about them, but all you see is a beautiful butterfly on the outside. You don't look in. So I see that a lot with people. It's interesting, too, because, like, a lot of like gang members, they might like if they want to diss their enemies, they might like put their logo or their gang sign upside down. So it's to me, when I look at your forehead, I think, oh, she got beef with the butterflies. No. <laughs> the butterfly crips better leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Not it at all. No, okay. But speaking of that, a lot of people won't let me into clubs and bars because they do think I'm gang affiliated. Oh, wow. Really? That, that's funny. You don't feel like <clears throat> you, because you work in strip clubs, right? Mm -hmm. You don't feel like that hinders your money can't oh. always blame the club sweetie we're gonna dive into it we got time i'm just letting that do the soft opening yeah right but so do the uh the, the what kind of strip club hires a girl who looks like you none 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 how'd you find one i didn't i covered them up you cover the tats up i cover my face tattoos up what the fuck yeah. you got too many of them to where i'm sure the makeup doesn't stick right it probably looks a little shitty it was that, like four hours of makeup no, it co I, it's kat von d um a little bottle of this kat von d tattoo cover up it covers it up in one little thing but wow. it looks so cakey and gross and it's like when i'm dancing i'm sweating it's so nasty i don't wear makeup so it's just like i hate that and i haven't danced in the club since february so I don't really need the club, but it's nice to have extra income. But so you've never stripped with just your tattoos showing. You've always um, had to cover it up? Yep. What the fuck? I would think that there would be some club that would be like, okay, this is a cool fetish. Some guys are into this. Let's hire her. Let's get a shot. You know this shit, right? <clears throat> Why the fuck keep getting them? I mean, I'm just being. I'm trying to like make it make sense to me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you too, being in the porn world, that I talk to a lot of girls who even just have a sleeve or whatever, and it's like they might like it. Some of their fans think it's hot, but overall, the porn companies are a lot less likely to hire them once they have tattoos. So once you get to this point, for sure, it's a liability. Yeah, I think it's because you're. Your tattoos portray something about you. Right. There is something about you. So when they can't, I, I, I think this is, I, I'm thinking this is how the porn people think about it. It's mm. like, well, I can't really put you in a setting because your shit says this. Exactly. I can't make you look like this because your shit kind of is reading The this. same way that the you girls know? who have blue hair are kind of limited because it's like impossible for the viewer to view them as like a neutral sexual object. The, mm -hmm. the blue hair is too specific, which yeah. is kind of a weird concept. But okay, when you're in the strip club, do you feel like you're popular well you haven't really stripped that much with the fucking tattoos showing so i guess you well, don't you haven't really seen the reaction huh no but even at that like my eyes just the way they look in the blue light because it's like a blue light so it makes my eyes pop crazy and my brown eye part comes out more and right. it, it looks insane under those lights so everyone sees it and they'll come up i'm actually like very i'm not gonna say popular in the club but i believe i am like a very good person in there that stands out okay yeah but, but 
Well, I would think yeah. it's hard to, but I have to say this, like yeah. I would think it's hard to get through that because you have all this exterior armor on. So nobody's, it, it, I feel like a, a, even a trick man that's in there that wants to spend some money with you, it's hard for him to see past that because this is already to him intimidating. He might have all the money in the world for, it, but it, the tattoos and trying to do that, the body mods and things like that are, are straying him away. Mm. And that's gonna fuck up your due season. All I'm saying is, is this, okay, cool. You got all the fucking tattoos. You got all of them in the world, but I would stop now until you're done doing what you're doing. And then if that, that's what you want to do because you're already done fucking made it, then so be it. Go fucking tat your whole fucking life. But she's not it. stopping. She just got her tongue split. She can tat, she, she can tat her fucking asshole. So through all, I mean, you got shit. big plans here? No, that's the thing. That's why I'm confused with what you're saying because you say stop. What, what else is there to do? I'm not going to put horns in my head. Why not? That's I, just the next logical much. step once no, you put a butterfly a, in your forehead, right? No, I'm getting a butterfly implant in my hand. Oh, see, I've known girls. I used to fuck with this girl. All of a sudden, one day, she got a heart inside her fucking hand, no. like a rubber heart in no. there. That's it. I, I, there's nothing else I can do besides tattoo my whole body. You'll find a way. Because there are. That's what happens. The reptile man or whatever. He tattooed his whole face like a dragon. No. Yeah. That's too much? I'm very content with the way my face looks. Okay. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'll never tattoo my face anymore. But was there somebody you were looking at where you were like, oh, she is so beautiful and she has this sort of look? You just completely thought of it out of thin air? Because there is the whole body modification tattoo community where you probably could find girls who have looks that are sort of similar to yours, right? Of course, of course. And that's the whole thing about it. I mean, I've been getting tattooed since I was 14. I had this whole sleeve before I was 17 years old. And I was getting in trouble at school because you're not allowed to have tattoos at that age. So I've always been in this, like, tattoo community no one person made me tattoo my face but i think after i kind of popped off on like the only stuff um and i was really making money to where my dad would ask me for money at points and he told me he was proud of me for all the accomplishments i made i moved out of his house got my own car my own place that's when i kind of clicked in my head i can do whatever i want and if i tattoo my face it's going to push me even harder to never have to work for anyone which is kind of dumb and ignorant in a way but i really i will never work for anyone else in my life i mean yeah i think that ship has probably already sailed for the most part yeah um <clears throat> that definitely checked out for you a while back <laughs> and i want you to like i'm telling you this for real because i fuck with you and i think that you do have a good soul stop these are all roadblocks you know why i got a bunch of tattoos was because of being lonely and bored and trying to express myself. That's what a lot of this shit comes from. But Sharp, the principal question is, we, what's more important, her, more important, her self-expression and wanting to look a certain way or money? Because it seems like she's kind of chosen to just well, be this artistic I, I was being, talking, right? I was talking to you. I believe I said something to you about that outside. And I was like, you know, you got to understand something like, yeah, do we all want to live just and do our life and just have our life and have everything that we want like, and not really have to worry about money? Of course, money shouldn't be the root. But damn it, that's what's going to take it to even do the shit that you want to do. But can I say this real quick? I'm just going to ask. Would I be sitting right here right now if I did not look like this? I'd be a baby. Maybe. Plug talk, it was a fucking. You might have to do <laughs> anal, but. Plug talk was definitely an option for you. You're right, though. We are we are curious and fascinated by you. Yeah. For sure. I would not have gotten soft white underbelly because I would just be another stripper, another prostitute. You would have had to do see. meth. There you go. Yeah. But the thing is, I didn't do that for this. I did this with. 2,000 followers on Instagram. I didn't do this thinking I was going to make anything else from it. But I was just so sick of feeling like I had to, I had two nanny jobs. They treated me like a slave. Like, I, I, I went Hold to on, let's back that up. Let's talk about it. Let's, we'll get to the college part, but why did you feel like you were getting treated like a slave? Because I, I was a nanny to two families. And, like, every day I was a nanny and trying to go to college, and I dropped out. And then these two families just had me working for them every day, and they paid me so little, like $200 a week each. And, and, like, they just degraded me and just treated me like I was nothing. And it just made me feel like, why am I ever going to work for someone? Like, I don't need to work for anyone. Respect. But don't you I, feel like you work for these dudes in the strip club or on yeah, OnlyFans? Which, and that, Facts. That's, yes. Facts, though. still a like, job. You're still working for someone. Yes. You still, still got customers. Yes, somebody. yes, yes. But I will say this, that if I really had to, I would cover up my face tattoos and do what I had to do because someone will hire me. But that's that's not it here. I 
do this what I do now. I still do the job because OnlyFans takes her a cute little twenty percent. So I do work for someone in a way. Right. But it's only helping me further invest in my life. Like I, I just started tattooing. I want to own my own tattoo studio in a year. I could own one now if I wanted to, but I don't because I want to save up and that's gonna help me make my own business. And then I could rent more tattoo studios, rent them out to people, get booth rent. Like this is helping me become my own boss in a way. Mm. Well, stop taking from yourself. It, listen, <clears throat> but I'm I think this in. is cool. So, okay. You're too in. I'm too you are <laughs> you're too I'm deep. so confused okay. when you say that. Oh, okay, no, don't be confused because your ass wasn't confused when you went and got all that shit. You weren't confused no. then. Don't be confused about it. I'm, I'm looking at it from, the, I'm looking at it as a whole, right? Okay, figure out something for the shit you already got going on before you start to go add to more and you don't even know where you're, you're 23 years old. You don't even know where the fuck you're gonna be. You haven't even lived a quarter of your life yet. You haven't even lived a, a full quarter. A quarter of your life is 25 years old. You haven't even lived a quarter of your life yet and you're making these decisions like you're fucking 34 and balding and going through a <laughs> midlife crisis. Like, um, I don't know what I wanna be. Well, I'll say this, like I did grow up very young. I, I grew up fast. Yeah, I, and I can understand that, but it's all about still making the choices even growing up fast. Like, I'm going to learn from the a couple of them. I'm not going to just keep making that and be like, oh, fuck, after it's too late, like, what do I do? But, but I felt like I've done nothing but, and I hate to say this because I didn't do this to benefit. Don't hate to say anything. Say okay. that shit. I, di I didn't do this to benefit myself. People said I did this to get famous to do this. I never mm -mm. expected any of that at all, not 1%. But all this is doing it was is, is elevating me. You was lonely when you did it. You was lonely and you was looking for something. You was searching for something. I talked to you, so I know you was looking for something, sweetie. Something that like I've said before, you ain't never had before. You're still looking for it right now. You're not content. That's why you're like, man, shit, I gotta at least put this in my hand. Like, fuck, I gotta raise my <laughs> hand up before I fucking call it quits. But do you like, look at your body like an art project? An art form? That's how, kinda yeah. how I see it, right? That's how I could justify it. I, I without the tattoos, I would without the eye. Let's just say the eye tattoos. I would look at myself in the mirror, and all I would see was my ex telling me to be everything he wanted me to be. I couldn't even stand looking at my own face and my own eyes at everything. I was like, I'm so tired of people telling me I can't do this, and my dad telling me I can't do this or that. I'm gonna prove everyone wrong, and I've done nothing but do that. Exactly. So this was pretty much a form of getting told not to go past the stop sign playing and you went past the stop sign because you were told not to go. Sure, but I didn't tattoo my face as a part of anarchy. I did it because I genuinely wanted it. I wanted it. You said, I think you had said something about, uh, you know, I'm going to get to look hot and like this when I'm old. Yeah, I, I believe when I'm old. A lot of people <laughs> say that to me too. Um, you know, what are you gonna do when you get old? And I said, we're, we're both gonna have wrinkles. The only difference is I'm gonna look a little bit cooler <clears throat> than you. What drove you to split your tongue? Well, I just did this about 30 days ago. Um, how's it feel right now? Good. Stick it out. It doesn't hurt at all right now? Everybody see that mm -hmm. thing. There you go. Do all the exercises and everything that you were taught that you just couldn't fucking wait to do. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That's probably some next level head. Bro, plug talk. I was waiting. I haven't done head yet. So would you? Would you do? Can I? Can I ask you a question? Would you do plug talk with Adam? That's a question for Adam, because oh. I've already been on this subject. She's already applied. Yeah, I was already. denied. I think Lena's a little oh, scared. Fucking burn! <laughs> <laughs> that was a burn. Like, I'm hey, not gonna bro. lie to you, Trav. Let me level with you. All right. <laughs> Come on. I'm not turning down no fades. Talk that shit. <laughs> I'm a professional. I've done a lot worse for a lot less. Right. <laughs> Lana is a little bougie. Yeah. I think she yeah. might have been a little intimidated by the tongue and maybe the eyeballs. So I don't know. Are you offended by it, that? What if it ran y'all fucking shit? And up? she's the last person on earth that would want this to be out there, but she just said it. So I kind of got to roll with it. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's a very kind soul. <clears throat> she never wants to hurt anybody's feelings. Right. Uh, and she wanna, loves girls. I want to say this, but it's kind of mean, but no. Never well, everybody, but everybody's got their own preferences, right? Yeah. I'll keep my mouth closed. What? What you got to say? It's just like I've seen some of the girls on there, and I, <laughs> I, I'm not saying anything, but right. I think I am a relatively attractive person, and I was like a little bit offended. I'm not mad at it.
That was some real shit right there. So she was a little offended. What made you offended by it? Like, why'd you? Because I I, I watch her stuff. Like I'll say, I watch her stuff. Um, I just watched the Steve-O podcast with you, and I've been a fan, and, and I. Then you want to bone me. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, before I get off You're track. You're a fucking dog, bro. Before I get off track, <laughs> I thought you were a very open, versatile person. and. Oh, I got it then. Mm, that's not what I mean, though. I'm not meaning with that stuff. I'm meaning just as a person, like open right. and you speak and do your podcast. And when I was kind of informed that you really weren't fucking with me, I was very confused. But again, I'm not turning down no fades. I I would <laughs> gladly bang you if for the content, you know, like I, I. Okay, well, I didn't know that it wasn't you then. Right. She's saying she didn't know. She thought that you ran the shit. Like it's up to you. You if you want to do it, you and can do fine. it. We both got to mutually agree on every girl, you know. So it's right. kind of right. But it's like I've <laughs> okay. But I think that for her, listen, because it's not just you. Because the, I'm not gonna lie, there was another time where there was a girl who had her tongue split, and Lena was kind of. But not you would feeling just think that, that, like, maybe try something different besides, like, a girl with a BBL. Or well, that's what I'm saying. Life, variety is the spice of life. That's why I was confused and offended. What if she's got the Whirly Whirly 7000 split? The Glug Glug 3000? Bruh. The Gluck Gluck. Bruh. <laughs> what if? How would you rate your top? You're going to, like, be like, no. But I'm going to rate myself a nine. Nine? Wow. You look at Tiana Trump. And is she a she's is she a goat or is she your son? Bro. She's different. She's different than she's me. Elite. So obviously she's elite in the elite club. I'm not, but right. I'll still give myself a nine. What are you into sexually? You bang five hundred guys. What have you figured out that you're into? I don't think any of them have figured me out yet. And none of them made you come? Not really. Really? No, I don't think they know where the spot is. They just think penetration's it. Maybe there is no spot. There's a spot. If that there many men church. have explored and that I mean, none of them have been able to that find it. The motherfucker must be in the box of the back collecting dust somewhere that right. they just cannot find you it. You bang Johnny Sins yet? Who's that? Johnny Sins, super famous porn star. Man, you really ain't in the game, huh? No, I don't watch a lot of porn. Um, but I'll say, like, some people I've been with, yes, they know how to do it right. They hit the little <laughs> disco spot or whatever. Disco spot? Like, you, you got know, a ball like in a there? Like a turntable or whatever that's called. Wicked, I, wicked. I'll tell yeah. you this: If I ever moved you, and I know that you know we sitting there, we having us a couple drinks. And oh, he tear it up. You want to casually get? Hey, don't talk about my business, bro. <laughs> Not that hey, you will, hey, but you hey, would. Don't talk about my business. I believe bro. you got it. I believe you could dick her down. I, I, I you believe, could show her a good time, hey, bro. Listen to me. She know I'm gonna show her a whole bunch of shit. I'm not saying you could crack the code. Good. You know what I'm gonna get to? <laughs> I get to it, Adam, and I'm gonna say there's a whole bunch of shit. Baby, know I can show her, man. We done talked about it, but you know I'm accepting in. I'm an acceptance of just being her friend. I'm cool with that, you know? But I'll tell you this. If we was ever just sitting there and I'm like, okay, well, shit, you want to give me casually, just give me some head. I, I don't know if I can do it with men and teeth about to tear your ass up. Nope. That's inaccurate. That's inaccurate. Yep, because you need to realize no one gives head with their teeth. Well, not Whoa, ideally. she licked her lips. I'm not going to lie, though. That I'll... was fucking... Did you see that in slow-mo? I didn't. Do it again. Do it again. With the t like, I only, I she, do. like, slurped like that. Yeah, bro. You ain't... It's what? like a snake. It's like a... Bro. It's kind of scary. Fuck. That's that snake that T-Rail's afraid that he's going to turn into. <laughs> what the... <laughs> T-Rail said... Right, shit no, he, a... he said that if he lost use of the other arm, then he would look like a snake. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? T-Rail, you're fucking up, <laughs> Hey, I, I tell you this, like I, I'm cool with, I'm cool with it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm straight with that. I can get past that, but I just feel like this is a lot of um, external armor that you put on. I feel like it kind of like I don't know if it you, is. you feel like it hides you from it more. Well, yeah. I mean, the reason I did this too is because I did not like the way I looked before. I did not feel like I could self-express. You I, were a gorgeous girl before. Sure. There's a lot of gorgeous girls out there. That's not what I wanted to be. You didn't want to just be gorgeous. No. Couldn't just set it. one off as just your mentality and be one of one. It had to be, to me, body dysmorphia almost. Yeah, I had very bad body dysmorphia. And but you're acting like getting your face tattooed like was the cure no. for self hatred. Like no. it made everything all better, which I think is the thing that Sharp might be a little bit skeptical about. Yeah. Mm. No, um, I'm still very much so depressed. Um, I have to go to psychiatrists, I have to see therapists. Uh, but you know, this this did 
help me be more me. Like, I probably could not be sitting here right now talking to you because I would have no self-confidence, self-love, none of those things. So it makes me feel more alive, more comfortable with myself being like this. So, you know, people take medication, people do drugs, I do this. You don't take drugs? No. Never? Um, No, just even you smoking weed freaks me out. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say no, yeah, say no to drugs. No, they're you not my thing. Them. I think it skipped a generation because it was with both my parents. So, But just smelling the kush freaks it's you out. It's horrible. I cannot be around it. Oh, I'm sorry. We're about to light this shit back on up. <laughs> and we're going to keep diving on in, you know? We're you about don't drink? Yeah, I'll drink a little. Like, I'm drinking oh, okay. a little bit of wine, like, or whatever. I'll drink a little bit, but I... Don't you disrespect the... Cl hey, don't you ever disrespect <laughs> okay. the vuv like that. Sorry. The champagne. <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't you, don't you disrespect that? Yeah. Wine. Come on now. Yeah, I'll drink a little bit, but I'll never get, like, messed up or anything. A little bit of vuv. Yeah, I I've, like being I here. really, listen to me, I really believe that some of the things that you've done and the things that you plan on doing are going to hinder some of the places that you truly, genuinely want to go because I don't feel like this is the last destination. You're, you're treating yourself like this is the last destination. This is it, final destination. With, with the way the world's going, how... Our uterus has almost gotten taken over. Ooh. By who? Whoever. Supreme Court? Yeah. How, how many abortions <laughs> you had? Two. So you believe that this is an important right? You want to protect it? Um, Up until a certain point. Uh, I got both of mine before they had heartbeats, but I was in there with women that the babies looked like they were kicking. What's a fair cutoff for abortion? Six weeks. Six weeks? Yep. I feel like mo a lot of women don't know that they're pregnant in the um, first six weeks. Takes at least, what, about eight? Uh, I mean, for a mother going to start even wanting to say, hey, their periods, like, they're starting to notice, hey, my period's late. Right. I'm not yeah. sure, like, what the desired period is that people want it to be legal, but, I mean, six weeks is I mean, like if you're looking in the early. first I, fucking I, I week, got, you're, yeah. you're reaching. You don't even know you missed your period until week four. I just felt weird and different, so I took the test, and then, yeah, I didn't feel like I normally did. Hmm. Uh, but I honestly, I just feel like no matter what, the, the cutoff should be like when it still looks like a rock because I saw it. They have to show it to you and make sure you still want to do it. Did you get an emotional attachment when you saw that? Yeah, I uh, I slept in the blood that came out of me from the pill uh, for two days. You slept in the blood? Yeah. In your own bed? Yeah. And it was from the boyfriend. So you did this at home. Why the fuck you ain't no. get up and go take a bath? No. Oh. They give you a pill. Okay. And then it you right. see it come out. Right. Like, no, but why didn't you get up? Why are you laying in blood traumatizing your fucking self? Like, uh, it's like you like that. Like, yeah, I sat there for two no, days. Like, no, yeah, no, no. that shit had to stink. No, it was because. That was fucking no, 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 rank. No, 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 no. this, I was with the man that was married with two other kids. And he told me he was the one that I would do anything for. And I was so excited. I wanted, I wanted it so bad. And um, he just told me he would hit me. He would push me downstairs. He would do whatever. And oh, people boy. say where I come from was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That shit then, we do. But, but Listen as soon to this as I, shit. As soon as I got it, he said, wow, you really just killed our kid that we oh, could have had a life with. And after that, I literally just didn't even want to be on this earth anymore. I just laid in bed for two days, and I watched it come out. And he blocked my number <sighs> and then unblocked me a few days later. He's watching. So, so that situation's fight. long gone, though? No, it's so long gone. It's okay. it's not even... Sounds like a bad guy. Horrible. Horrible right. person. But I believe in karma so heavy. And he stole so much money from me. And I've made triple what he stole from me. So it's just karma comes back. I just know no matter what, he's not in a good place right now. I don't know where he is, but I know he's not in a good situation. Whew. How's your OnlyFans been playing out for you? Very good. I would say. I mean, I know people make millions a month, but I mean, for me, it's decent. What you pulling in? Um, last month, I pulled in twenty six thousand. The month before, I pulled in forty thousand. This has been a slow month, fifteen thousand. So nice. Yeah, I mean, but that's like the sad part is that it's you always want more. Like I, I come from making less than a thousand dollars. Two years ago, I was digging for change just for gas. Mm. So I mean, to come from that to this, it's a little bit different. All right. What are you doing on there? Everything. You're banging dudes? Yeah. Who are these dudes? Mm, oh, you keep licking them. Hey, that, that fucking snake serpent keep fucking moving on me, dog. <laughs> like, she, every time she get into it, it's a... 
I have I'm like, lips. He huh? wants to know what the top is like. No, I want to know what the fuck this shit do. Like, <laughs> yeah, what the you fuck do. happened? Like, no, for real, bro, because the tongue splitting, you know, face tatting. Like, mama, I'm going to be real with you. I get it. You want to be free spirited and shit like that. But let's be honest. You ain't sitting on no M's yet. And I don't want to see this hinder your life. Slow that shit down just a little bit. That's all I'm saying. It's cool. Okay, what's done is done. Figure this shit out first before you go and try to add to some more. I just don't get There's nothing else I can do besides tattoo my legs. You think that is going to stop? You know you on the way. She's really you know done on the way. most but of what she, she could said do. It, but she said it in another. I've heard her talk about it before. Like, yeah, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually. I'm not done. I'm about to get a whole bunch of tattoos. Well, I think it was because I didn't have a creative outlet for myself, so this was more so. But I realized tattooing is truly my passion and what I want to do in life. So I think just how you say purpose. Once you find that, I think things slowly. So you want to do tattoos? No, I'm already doing tattoos. Oh, okay. Um, I'm starting an apprenticeship Monday, and then I'll be tattooing in her shop. And um, I want to own my own shop within the next two years. So you want to take out your apprentice, the person that's taking you in. You want to learn from them, and then you want to start your own business and betray them. No, that's the thing with tattooing now. <laughs> that's like, that's what it sounds like to me. Everyone has Talk their to own. Him, man. I'm looking no, bright no, idea. Tattooing has evolved so much. Everyone has their own shops. Everyone has their own clientele. Yeah. Like what I do, no tattoo artist is the same. What she does, I won't be the same as me. Why is she taking you in and 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 teaching you the game when you're just gonna run off and no. become a competitor? Because she has, she's been tattooing for eight years. She has so much look. You get so many loyal people to you that want to be tattooed by just you. Okay. And obviously, and I think that's a concern because a lot of people will get tattooed by me and they're not going to respect me as much in this industry because afterwards, if a guy's tattooed by me, he'll want to ask me to have sex with him. Can I ask and, you a And serious? are you down? Can you get the combo tattoo and fuck? I cannot say it this time. How much would that run, though? You do, you give me a thousand dollar tattoo, and then also I, I need a blowjob at the end. What do you, what are you charging me if I'm an average Joe schmo? Dollar and a half. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand on top of the thousand dollar tattoo. No, Plus nice. tip. I'll be nice. Damn. You got a tip when you get a blowjob? You should. Like if the official price is hundred bucks, are you expected to hit them with the one twenty? No one's ever tipped me, so I wouldn't know. Damn. No one's ever tipped you. Wow. They've just given me the rate or what I rate, and then that's it. Can I ask you a real fucking question? We're we're gonna because I really want to know, like for real. Anybody ever like sexually molest you or anything when you was coming up? Be honest with me. You ain't gotta say out no names or nothing. So just be for real, like, cause I gotta know, like, it, something led to this shit. This shit didn't just spark overnight. Like, hey, oh, I just want to jump into the culture. Nah, shit happens to where people start really chasing something, man, for real. So I'm trying to just really figure that shit out. Like, did you ever go through anything like that in your life? You ever been traumatized in that sense? Not just even having fucking relationships that were just sour and bad. No, I mean, I mean, when I'm an 11 year old being sexually active, I get, I don't, I've never been molested by family or anything like that. Like my whole family has been great to me, for the most part. Um, but I would just say it's probably just early on sexual activity and just the way things roll in life nowadays. But I don't feel like that has a connection to this. Do you love making porn? No. It's it's good. I like that I do it, but is it my passion? No. Tattooing's my passion, but I do like it. You have fun doing it? Sometimes and sometimes I don't because there are girls that'll just fake it and not really want to do it and then they don't take it serious because they don't make decent money. You prefer girl, 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 or boy, boy, or girl, boy? No, I prefer boy because they take it more serious, mm. even if they don't have OnlyFans, because obviously they want to like do it. So when you finish sucking a guy off or stroking him Whoa. off, and you see that come <laughs> exit the dick, come on, bro. What's going don't through your me, mind? Bro. How don't do you me. How do you feel watching that thing erupt? Don't, don't do me. I'm bro. about to make some money off this video. <laughs> Bruh, like, don't even do me, bruh. Like, so you just this, tolerating the jizz? You don't love like it? This is like a free interview for Plug Talk. <laughs> like, I'm watching what's going on you right hear now. You though? She's tolerating the jizz. Yeah. <laughs> she don't even love the jizz. I'm not even having... If I'm having a relationship with someone, then yes, I love that. But And that's like, even now, I would have a boyfriend if I could, but I just don't, because... They don't like your way of life? There's just none of the good ones in Houston. Where I live. Why so. don't you move out of Houston? I've been saying this to you. Why don't you move out of Houston? Maybe I'll never move out Dallas. of Dallas. 
maybe Dallas. Okay, or Austin. you ain't gotta leave. Yeah, Dallas, Austin. Maybe I'll find it there. But you could leave Texas. What's wrong with LA? It's just it's horrible here. <laughs> Why? What do you hate about what it? Makes it horrible. You seem like you would fit in a lot better out here am than I in Texas. Hollywood would, would love her. <laughs> She's am just I, normal. You go I, hang out on Hollywood Boulevard, there's a bunch of bitches look like you. They're I, fucking with but you. But why do I want that? Well, I mean, they might be kindred That's, spirits. Hey, but see, no, look. See, you said that you didn't see. I, had, I heard that. You say you did this because you didn't want it. There's a lot of pretty girls, right? Yeah. There's a lot of attractive girls. Well, there's a lot of girls that do what you're doing. That's over in Hollywood, right, motherfucker? Yeah. Now, I mean, walking. You, you'd prefer to live amongst the mega churches and the Bible Belt? I think so because demon they're more, girl, they're more offended. <laughs> you so you're here to offend. Sure, I'm here to let people ask questions. If I'm here amongst people that are already like me, what am I to pre- like? If I let's right so now, you're trying to tell Hank Hill, hey, I'm just a cool girl. Okay, let's say this right now. Hank Hill don't care. If I lived here, you probably wouldn't notice me. None of y'all would have noticed me if mm-hmm. I lived here and I was blended in with just all the other girls and all the other. Girls. We didn't even know you lived in Texas. We seen you on Fresh and Fit and oh. Soft White Underbelly. Hell yeah, yeah. Moving and grooving. Yeah. That's where I saw you at. What was your Fresh and Fit experience like? Good. Did yeah. you walk out? No. No. They, you know, it's funny. Like in all respect to them, but they expected me to be crazy and wild to like have some crazy episode. That's why they really wanted me on, I think, because right. uh, they really thought I would go crazy and pop off. Um, and you kept it pretty chill. And then when I, the thing is, I just it does not phase me. Anything they talk about, it does not bring anything to me that makes me that raged. So and I just don't I don't fight like that. I'll just say what I have to say and then I'll be done with it. I'm not going to fight over it. And they really wanted me to. Was there ever a moment on the podcast where you wanted to fuck Walter? Walter. Fresh. Walter. Oh, No. <laughs> He's not your type? No. What about Myron? Um, like, let, if I really had to choose a type between both of them, it would be Myron would be more my type. What about Mir Sharp? Who? Mir Sharp, the person sitting next to you. That's a tough one. So I would say both y'all are kind of my type. Yeah. <laughs> Grimy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up to no good. <laughs> what does that say about you that we're your type? What but we're that, actually great that, guys. Yeah, what yeah. does that say? That I know how to pick them. You know how to pick them? Yeah. Well, I'm fucking toxic as shit. Well, so am I. Him, he fucking can't keep his dick in his pants. <laughs> Who do you think would fuck better? <laughs> don't fucking answer this shit. He's, he's really putting you through a plug talk I don't interview. I know, because I've seen you and I haven't seen mm, you. That's true. Well, baby, you know I've always lived my life with, you know, He's a little discreet. You'd yeah. probably be more passionate. Uh, you'd probably just be like, all right, I'm hungry. I believe that. I believe that he would I'm be more hungry. passionate for sure. I could see him being. I'm hungry. He's more more emotional, I think, than I'm me. Emotional. Whereas I'm a little bit more dead inside. I feel. No. I like kissing and cooing and. Hugging. Oh well, then no. Well, I don't, know. I don't know. Do you really? Yes. Because you're fucking somebody up with. Uh, yeah. I don't know how you even gonna do it with that in that mouth. I'm telling you. We're getting them. them they gotta come out. Nope. Are you butthole equipped? No. What the fuck? You don't do anal? Nope. I don't know how. Somebody gonna learn you, right? Nope. You're not trying to learn? He got a hoodie on. He's Uh, ready for it. You see that shit, bro? He's ready. He's like, oh, you ain't never did that before. You ever done anal in a hoodie? (laughs) That shit crazy. What the fuck? But you you wanna figure anal out? Um, I mean, everyone on my OnlyFans asks for it. As they should. I cannot deliver. I put like small toys in it. You gotta find a guy with a little dick. Yes. Okay, hey, you ain't gotta. Come on now, sweetie. You ain't got to do all that. Don't listen to him. I'm telling you. He's the one on the show. You don't want her to fulfill her <laughs> anal dreams? Sharp. I use numb cream. Sharpie. I like that. I don't know, I'm not trying to stand in the middle of that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> if I was an OnlyFans subscriber, I would want to see her butthole get turned out. Yeah. Literally. Pink sock. Whoa. What? Not me. Adam. He said no. pink sock. I don't think that would ever be me. Hey, Genetically, <laughs> there's a girls that just are like that. I am not. I'm very. So you, so you telling me that really, in all actuality, you're not really a sexual person. You just know it sells. So that's why you're doing. Well, she it. did bang 500 guys. Yeah, I mean, you had you to get a little sexual. Yes, I like, I like the aspect. It's like so toxic. What I really find attractive is kind of like going for a guy I know I can't have. 
and then I have them, and then it's boring because I know like he's dating someone, but I oh, challenge you're like myself us. to like get them. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a dude. You sound like every dude I ever met. Yeah. Say, Welcome to the Breakfast Club. <laughs> 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 every guy at home is just like, yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was, I had to get past that if I wanted to grow in life. I had to stop being on this quest for new ass. It's just hard because it's like if I date a guy, like I know no matter what, he will be thinking about another girl at some point. And, and that's am, tough for you, knowing that guys are attracted to other girls? I'm just, I'm a jealous person, and it hurts me a little bit. If I'm not involved, I get hurt. Are so you, you toxic? Do, you do yeah. get upset. I heard you have a little bit of a bad reputation around town, that you are you get a little crazy with guys and stuff. Ooh, these facial expressions Ooh. are really fucking hey, me I'm up. Confused. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard that you're a little, a little wild, and you, you're a little crazy to work with. I don't know. I, I don't want to name my sources, but people talk. No, I don't. I heard something. Maybe. What about you? Yeah. Or about me? About you? About me today? Mm. It seems like you know a lot, what? right? And it's like, yeah, hold on. You heard we didn't want to do it. We're we're gonna dissect this. Like, what is it? Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, it's like you're trying to hold it back, but everything you've been able to say, well, he's been able to take. We already discussed it. That's what I said. We already discussed it. Earlier. The only <laughs> complaint I've ever had on a porn set was a girl complaining about my asshole being too hairy when she ate it. Oh, nasty dog. <laughs> I'm bringing it's different energy nasty, to the sharp bro. tank. You brought oh, hella yeah. different. You brought anal energy to the You fucking... eat butts? Yeah. You do? I love it. Okay. I don't think I can now. Wait, what? You yeah, like you to could. eat? Hold on. You as like long to... as they're not hey, too thick. stop the shit. Stop. Stop. Gluck, stop. Gluck. Stop. So you're telling, like, listen to me. Don't tell me that you're a fucking, you're, you're part of the ass eater club. Yeah. You would let me do it. I love how every No, guy I'm not going to let you do it. Did you just ask me to lick my ass? Says they Bro, won't do it. I mean, if I was going to experience her, I would me. go for the booty licking for sure. Yeah. If I know I, she's into that, sure. Bro, get in there. Shave it. <laughs> how about shaving? Hey, <laughs> you you got to deal been, with it. How long have we been going? <laughs> we got about an hour. We had an hour? You know. I feel like we, I hope. We push sharp to new new places. Listen to me. I hope for the viewers. I hope for you guys that watch this. I hope that we fucking accomplish something out of this. I feel good. That was, I mean, I feel good about it, <laughs> but I'm a little nervous because I'm like, I didn't know you like to eat ass too. Have you ever given anybody pink eye? You got to ask people that these days. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I've went through some, I've seen some things. So, like. I feel like that question or that, you know what I'm saying, that that move isn't really outlandish to ask. Nope. Have you? No oh, pink eye transmissions? Never, you've, you've washed your ass? Yep. Will you take a lie detector I'll be test? Honest, sure. Would you take a lie detector test? So if we got one, and I, if I brought you back, right? Come back to Sharp Tank. Yep. And we'll dive in more. And we we do you a lie, you know what I'm saying, a little lie detector test. I don't think those <laughs> things are accurate, but I would do it. You'll still do it? <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't think they're accurate, so you already don't believe, so why would we do it? What else would you want to ask her? Whoops, man, a whole fucking lot. Let me tell you, I got a lot to ask you because I just feel like there's more to it than what you're saying. You're more like, oh, well, you know, I just chose this, but you young. You don't really know what you want. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm a little older than you. So when I look at it, I'm like, I, I was your age before, too. And I'm like, I didn't really know what I wanted. I was still searching for that. So I don't think it was, even though I've made them type of, mis them type of moves, too, but I'm like, I don't want to make mistakes that might fucking really permanently fuck up what's going on later on in life. So let's. What was that? Was that a. No, don't no, do no. that to me. No, no, no. Don't no. do it. No, no, no. I was. Um, Is I get on but, you ever scissor but, hands? But, little what? sister from what? around the corner. But <laughs> would you say that to Lil Peep right now? Like. Hell yeah, I said to Lil Peep. Around. Call him. Anybody got Lil Peep's number? Call Lil Peep. Okay. Uh, exactly. So stop. He passed away. I know he did, yeah. but I'm saying, like, come on, man. We can't talk about somebody that ain't here to even speak up on that. I wouldn't but even he, want to talk about that. He was going in a very successful path, I believe. I believe he was, too. But Would I'm just, you tell him to stop tattooing himself? Would I tell him to stop tattooing? He's a man. It's a little bit different for men. Men can do things like that. I'm just being honest, like, to, like, tat up, like, and do some crazy shit. Not even saying that's okay, because I feel like it hinders them, too, as men. She's pushing the boundaries. But you're pushing, you really pushing the boundaries. I, and I like it. Think about it. If she was a dude from Chicago with these tattoos, we wouldn't even be thinking it was that crazy, right? Nope, not at all. Nope. Not at all. I'm just Go, girl. 
But I look at it like this. The soul is sweet, right? Yeah. The soul is sweet about you. Okay? That's what's in here. And, and I believe that. That's what I'm saying. Stop putting all the roadblocks for people to be able to see that. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to roadblocks. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. Stop putting all these roadblocks up on people to yeah. be able to see that sweetness about you. If that make any sense. I just feel like there are a lot of roadblocks, baby. That's all. And slow down. If you want to keep, hey, if you feel like by the time you hit 30 and that's what you want to continue to do, hey, so be it. Keep moving. I'll even support that shit. But I just think right now it's a phase and you're making permanent decisions on phases. I don't think this is a phase at all, but. I do. Okay. I think it's a phase. Okay. We'll agree to disagree. And I'll I really do. Your uh, uh, look, you you said, guys have daddy daughter energy. No, I'm going to be real with you. Look, you said, those is, you said those is veneers, right? So you didn't even saw your teeth. No, you don't have to saw your so teeth. So even you know that you can go back. You didn't even trust it that much to just no. saw your motherfucking you, you shit. You don't have to like, saw hey. your teeth to do it nowadays. There's different ways to do it. She said there's absolutely no reason someone has to saw their teeth to get veneers. Not a good dentist. <laughs> I could get longer fangs. Like I could, I, I might fang my front two teeth. I don't know. This podcast brought to you Fam by the dentist. Hey, man, brought to you by the dentist. Get your teeth cleaned. Brought to you by Hamilton Shout out Dr. Crentist. Hey, man, we love y'all. Hey, I'm going to make sure that uh, we come. We'll have that lie detector test for you, too, next time. I love that. So do you, do you think you guys are closer to banging now after the interview or further away? Adam, fucking stop. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Riley, can you do me a favor? Shoot us out the motherfucking gym. Woo! <laughs>